Let's talk about stem and leaf plots. And if you've never seen a stem and leaf plot before, well, this is an example of one, and we're going to, of course, uh, go through this. But stem and leaf plots have to do with um, looking at data. Okay, and this is a big topic in mathematics. So when we have a bunch of information, a bunch of raw data, what can we do? Well, you can do all sorts of things with it. You can find the average uh, or the mean. You can try to find the median, the mode, the range. You can do all different type of things for those of you that are studying more advanced um, statistics or data analysis, you can find things like the standard deviation, et cetera. But um, pretty much everybody at the middle school and high school level and beyond need to be able to construct basic graphs from data. Now, one of those would be the stem and leaf plots. Other ones would be things like the uh, box and whisker plots or uh, frequency tables or bar graphs, circle graphs, etc. So if all this sounds kind of familiar to you, well, stem and leaf plot is one of the one, one of the uh, graphs um, or plots that you're going to have to um, learn. And it's not that difficult. I'm going to show you this particular example here in just one second. And if this video helps you, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. So Let's get into this discussion on data. Again, when we're studying data, there's a lot of ways we can look at information and graphs and plots are very, very useful. And uh, of course, we're just gonna focus in on this stem and leaf plot. It's not that um, difficult at all, okay? So let's go ahead and take a look at this right now. Okay, so let's suppose you were given some sort of set of data and here is a group of data. This could be anything. This could be uh, maybe a people's age. This can be maybe dollars. This could be maybe weight in pounds. Doesn't make a difference. It's just some, some sort of set of data. And instead of just looking at all this information this way, we want to kind of see, you know, see it represented uh, in a better way, a more visual way, so we can kind of see the trends or the weighting, if you will, of what's going on. So this is, again, um, this idea of a stem and leaf plot falls under the category of data analysis and plots and graphs, tables, and those things definitely help us analyze what's going on with raw information. So what is a stem and leaf plot? Well, if you um, look at these words, stem and leaves, here we have stems and leaves, you might be thinking to yourself like a tree, right? Like, let's say here's a tree, you know, it's a pretty bad tree, but here, let's say we call this a branch or a stem, and then there's some leaves off that particular stem or uh, branch. And then some of you might be thinking, well, is this kind of where this word stem and leaf plot is coming from? Is it kind of this kind of uh, concept? And yes, that's exactly the concept that is related to the, why we call this a stem and leaf plot. And of course we have stems and then we have leaves. So let's see how this uh, works. Again, this is not that difficult, but if you're new to this, anything new, well, we need to start from the beginning. So a stem and leaf plot, what you're going to do is we're going to organize our um, information, our numbers here, okay, our data, and we're going to do it um, based upon the first digit of these numbers. So here, for example, I uh, have uh, 12, 17, 14, 19, and uh, that's about it. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna create what we call stems, okay? Now, what is the first digit of all of these numbers, all these two digit numbers? Well, it is one, okay? So one is gonna be our first stem, and you're going to look for your um, lowest numbers first, okay? Now, of course, this would work with single uh, digit numbers as well, but typically you're going to have more than just one uh, one digit. You're going to have two or more because this is how we construct both stem and leaves. But let's go ahead and take a look at the stems here. So our first stem is one. Okay, so kind of a think of it here is our little um, uh, tree trunk, and then we have a nice stem or a branch. It is the one. Uh, uh, stem. Okay, now off that st uh, stem, we're going to have these digits here. Two, there's seven, 
Here is 14, I didn't want to miss that one. And then here we'll have nine. Now the way you want to construct this is you want to put the lowest stem first, the lowest digit. So here we're dealing with 12, I'm sorry, 12, 17, 14, 19. So our stem here is one. Then you want to write the leaves that we have um, uh, in order as well. So we're going to write two first. Okay, so we'll put that two first, and then we'll put four, okay, for 14 right there, and then we'll put seven for 17, and then we'll put nine for 19, okay? So we have the one stem, okay? Then, of course, these are our leaves, two, four, seven, and nine. Now, you don't have to write this branch. I'm just kind of showing you that this is the kind of main idea. This is our one stem, and these are our leaves that are coming off that stem, okay, or that branch. And it's a good visual way to kind of see what's going on. Okay, here we have one, and when you're interpreting these stem and leaves, these are numbers, right? One and two mean, oh, this is the number 12. One and four, that's 14. So you can kind of read this, right? If we want to re, uh, reconstruct the numbers here, well, this is saying we have the number 12, uh, 14, 17, and 19, okay? All right, so now let's go ahead and look for the next stem. And again, we're starting with one, so we're gonna see if we have any twos, and we do. So that's 20, 29, and 22, and 21. Okay, so these right here, these numbers, you can see our stem is going to be two, and then we can go ahead and construct the leaves. So our first number is 20. Okay, so we're going to start, we're going to put that stem two, and you're going to draw these little lines in here, by the way, just like this. You're going to have a column for stems and a column for leaves, so just draw yourself a nice little uh, plot just like this. And so we're going to put zero, okay, to represent our 20. Okay, so that's our first leave. And then we have 21. Okay, so we'll put one next. We have 22. So we'll put that two right there. And then we have 29. We'll put that nine right there. So right off the bat, we can see this data. There is a lot of um, uh, plots for uh, things in the tens or the teens and the 20s. Okay, so this is the bulk of our data. So you can already kind of interpret, hey, you know, these stems with one and two have a lot going on. And then we can we go ahead and continue to look for any other uh, information here in our data set. And we could see we have uh, one uh, number in the 30s. So this is gonna be 33. So we'll put our stem as three, and then our course, our one leaf will be three. So that represents the number 33. And then lastly, we have 45. So we'll have a stem of four and our leaf of five, and there you go, okay? So this here is the stem and leaf plot for this um, uh, data, okay? Now, there's other ways uh, we can look at this information. There's all sorts of different things. We could find the mean. We could try to find the, um, we could find the medium. We could find the mode, if, it, if there is a mode. You can find the range. You can find the standard deviation you can construct all different type of plots uh, to look at this. Remember, when you're looking at data, we want to be able to just kind of, you know, look to, for trends, uh, obvious things that, you know, aren't so easy to see when we just have a list of numbers like this. That's why we do these uh, various plots. And again, it's not difficult stuff to do. So if you've never seen a stem and leaf plot, this is one. And I'm pretty sure if I gave you um, another problem on this, that you could do it. All you have to do is just basically follow the steps. Okay, not that difficult. If you need additional help in basic math, check out these two courses right here. So the first is my Math Foundations course. This is a, a quick review of basic math. Now, if you want to review uh, basic math, algebra, and geometry, then check out my Math Skills Rebuilder course. I'm going to leave uh, links to both of these courses in the description of this video. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.